Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 2022 here at Cameron House Marina. My name's Ruben, I'm sales manager at Marine Sales Scotland and this is a Sea Line S41. Previously owned by Goldfinger, so it would appear we've had it all champagne, silver, uh, zinc, gold. What colour do you think the hull band is? For me it has to be champagne, I think that epitomises the Sea Line cruising lifestyle and now you, you meet us here at halfway house with this boat so she's awaiting full preparation for sale but we just couldn't resist sharing her with you now let me start outside so subsurface the anti-fouling has been done very freshly um, in black at the stern of the boat she's just come from a nine thousand pound nine thousand pound extensive full outdrive service so that takes a lot of the pain and the worry out of buying a second hand boat. Well, this is all going to get a full extensive machine polish and then all the canopies will get laundered and there will be a full external detail valley. Now inside the saloon and also the living quarters, so the likes of the toilets, the aft and forward cabins. Now they have all been prepared, so you will get to see that when we look inside the cockpit we're just waiting on finalizing and detail valeting but she's nearly there as i mentioned we're sort of halfway house the reason we do these videos is just a we want to to share it with you so you can see what it looks like now uh, b it's also to give you an idea of the amount of work that we put into these boats to turn them into an ultimate pardon the pun product once they are done let's take a little look inside what a phenomenally spacious cockpit and it isn't even ready yet. So let's start the back here. Now this is often the, the most underrated feature of the Sea Lion S41, 42, 43 range. Traditionally, your canopies would come down angularly off the back of the hard top. That's another bonus as well. Gives you that protection from the elements in the rain. So your traditional canopies would come down here. They chop your head off if you're sat at the back. This way, it's very palatial with the domed superstructure. Gives you lots of extra head height. You can get six or seven round the table and that is all serviced by your wet bar here. Hot and cold sink underneath the weekend fridge. Now you've got a fridge down below also uh, for all your sort of sensible galley items, things like your food up here is certainly where the party is. You've got your charcoal barbecue. And then in behind here, it is lockable as well, so you can keep your friend's pesky hands off it if you have any nice spirits or anything nice that you want to lock in here. That also is a remote for at the back. We do have um, mood lights and you can change the colour of them, so it is very nice and the boat will stand out at night. Underneath here, you've just got a storage locker. You can see there's a fire extinguisher and also the plug-in uh, and then that is your escape hatch god forbid you ever need it for the aft cabin now all the upholstery up here is yet to be conditioned so is the flooring and we just really need to go and detail it but you can see i mean this is the way that the boat came and it is very very good you imagine this in the summer you can roll these back you have a manual sliding roof which you can pull back also and it lets natural light pour into this area. That coupled with your speakers up here, your wet bar, what a fantastic area to relax in throughout the summer. Bring your friends. Now, as I mentioned, we are still going through this boat with a fine tooth comb because this will be someone's pride and joy very, very soon. And when we have her done, you know, we want this to be the type of craft that when you bring your friends aboard it, it really has the wow factor on such a glorious spacious boat with all the bells and whistles so you can see they've changed the dash to that brushed circular aluminium look that is actually a reversing and a forward camera massively helps docking and you know coming in and out of marinas what also helps is your bow and your stern thruster you've then got raymarine tri data and then we have a huge e120 touchscreen display so that has your radar it also will pull up sort of chart plotting and um, and sort of navionics facilities on it. It's a really, really good option that. And the map is very detailed, right. Things like the Perspex, well, we are going to replace the front screens also, but 
Let's take a little look downstairs. Now, downstairs has been prepared. How do you be at home without being at home? Well, down here, you'll find all of the qualities and the craftsmanship that Sea Line was renowned for. The joinery, the worktops, the door handles. There's just such a big thing for me, the door handles on Sea Lines. And then the blue Prima Suede upholstery, all in wonderful condition. What else would you expect? You can see we've got Liam Neeson on the telly there, doing what he does best. What a great place to come and relax and unwind in down here. You've got a little stool which you can pull out. Difficult to do with one hand, mind you. Storage underneath that. Overspill seating so you can take that out. The whole family can get round the dinner table. That'll also drop down to form another bed. More on that in the later video. And then you've got storage all the way up the back here and Venetian blinds that will drop up or down. So aside from your, your television here with the DVD, we've got our switchboard and a generator. Furthermore, we've got Eversbacher diesel central heating and then a Raymarine VHF also down here too. So the boat really does have a lot of kit. Galley wise, we've got the high quality marble effect countertop. We've got our onboard stereo system, gas cooking appliances, which are very, very popular, but just very seldom found. You don't tend to get them on many boats, but almost all sea lines did come with them and a gas fired oven. Pizzas, lamb joints, chicken, everything like that. Very easy to do so. But if you fancy something nice and quick, well, we also do have the microwave down there. Storage in here. And then your fridge with freezer compartment. And that is a very big fridge. And also a healthy freezer compartment too. Oh. In there. Where shall we go first? I think we'll go into the forward VIP. Now this isn't the master cabin, but we've got ensuite access, full hanging locker storage, our own private television. And this isn't the ensuite, this is the shower room. Let me pop the light on, there it is. So we've got its own separate shower with a retrofitted rainfall head. So much better than having a wet head. It just makes you not want to use the toilet or, or go in there once it gets wet and moist. It takes a long time to dry also. We've got our island double berth and look how far up the side of the bed you can walk on each side. Hanging locker storage. It says it on the tin. And then in here is the ensuite. Now there's Jack and Jill door access so we can also enter via the saloon which is great if you've got three families aboard because then everyone can access the toilet without encroaching on each other's space. Now they are electric quiet flush toilets that drain into the waste tank. There is also uh, an, overboard, uh, an overboard deck discharge system on this. The floor has been French polished and that leads us into the aft cabin. Definitely the owner's cabin. In fact, I say definitely, but not because both of them are so well equipped. But I think with the seating here, with the vanity, this, this, yeah, this has to be the owner's cabin. His and hers storage on either side. Again, his and hers hanging locker storage. There is that escape hatch I mentioned earlier on. And then you've got full headroom to walk around the entirety of this area here. That is where they have recessed the floor. So upstairs, you've got that great functional cockpit space. You've then got a vanity if you want to do your makeup. I don't need to, I did mine this morning before I came in. And just above that is the television. And then down below here, we've got little drawers and then a secret cupboard as well. Perfect for shoes. And then more of that hanging locker storage. Now in here, we've actually rolled up the bow cushions. So there are sunbathing cushions as well. If you're lucky enough to get the sun, trust me folks, it is on its way. I know it's difficult to envision anything other than minus four right now, but it's coming. So we've got another electric quiet flush toilet. This you can use as a wet head if you want, that'll pull out and clip into that there. Charging point for your shaver. 
and an electric heated towel rack. So all the comforts of home in your home away from home. That's what this really is. Overspill seating, very comfortable if you just want to get away from the rabble in the cockpit. Take one last look at the saloon. The gorgeous saloon is, is really where, where the boat is made, I think. Let's take a little look at the engine. Now she's powered by a pair of twin Yanmar 300 horsepower six cylinder turbo diesel engines. That is the exact way we found the engine bay and it is very, very clean. That little white dome is your onboard generator and loads of space to get in down and in between those engines if you want to. All of this in here will get cleaned to perfection. And that sort of leads us to the closing remarks. I mean, she's there. The whole boat mechanically is there. Superficially, we just want to bring it up to exactly the standard that we expect. We are perfectionists here. Not even had a pause, but you can see the shine off her is very, very good. And I think the next time you see the boat on YouTube, she'll be fully completed for sale. We'll have her out on the water, so we'll show you what she runs like. She runs super smooth, but we want to show you that for yourselves. She'll be fresh from a machine polish. So this was the humble beginning of the Sea Line S41. Nothing really humble about it because she is an outstanding boat already. But once she is done, and you will see that in the next video, wow, she will be unbeatable. So stay tuned, folks. I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland. We're fun in the water. Begins.